Wolf. Welcome back to today's episode. And finally, we are at the end of the book knock. I'm actually glad to be finishing it off now. I think it's been going on for far too long and I need to move on to other projects. So here what I've done is um, I've just stuck the end piece on uh, just to cover up the side panel, which was missing. Um, And so far, I've just glued it. Um, And you can see here that I'm just, uh, you know, it's not it's not glued really well, but I've glued the sections that I can. Um, and then I'm going to take some small pin um, pin nails and I'm going to close up the, the gaps a little bit better. I've also just cut a piece of cardboard which will sit on top of the book nook and it will just create a, like a lip which will sit just over the front part. And I just think that will just add a nice finishing touch when it's all covered up. I do have a section here which is overlapping a little bit with this square dowel. So I'm going to trim that down eventually before I wrap the whole thing um, in some lovely sticky back plastic. So yeah, I'll do that at the end. But first we're going to paint the front just on the, down the sides just to add a nice finishing touch like a silvery colour here. So on the back I've got this messy section where the wires were kind of just taped down as a sort of a temporary measure and uh, I just placed this at the bottom, um, you know, section of the, the board just so I could sort of use it for the moment but, um, you know, now that we're coming close to finishing I do need to think of a more permanent way to secure that. So I actually want to secure it closer to the top and probably something like that. Um, well, actually it'd be the other way around, wouldn't it? Oh, bear with me. And I want to sort of place it there so I can still access the switch. And oh, so I can still access the switch, which is just there. And it, it can still be put on and off. So going up is on and going down is off. Um, and also I can change the batteries as well so I need to be able to do that so I need to secure that to the top somehow and I think what I'm going to do is because I've allowed this extra lip here on both sides I'm going to put a piece of wood across there which should have done before really I'm just going to to sort of secure it um, and that then that can sit on top of that so I'll do that now and then we're almost done. We're going to be ready to, to wrap it from the front pretty soon. Okay, so I've just created a small platform out of wood here and put a divider in, which is just a couple of pieces of wood and I'm waiting for that glue to dry. And I've just glued a piece of elastic across the top there and that will just hold the battery in place. And at least I can remove this whole pack to change the batteries when I need to. So um, the wires look a little bit messy, but remember this is the back and we won't be looking at this anyway. So yeah, that's it. And the switch is accessible from the side there so I can put it up and down from there, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to move on to covering the box. <laughs> I'm going to use this sticky back plastic to cover the outside of the book nook just because it's going to be easier than painting the whole thing and also it will look a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to uh, start cutting this to size and then we'll peel it and stick it down. Ooh. 
Wow, I've actually finally finished now and I am going to just put everything back in that I'd taken out so I could move it around and I'm so excited to do this because it's the fun of putting everything into place. Making this book nook has been an awesome journey and I've really enjoyed it. Looking inside in real life is so much better than looking at it on camera so I do apologise that you may not be able to get every detail but it is so lovely and I'm really proud of how it's turned out. I really hope you've enjoyed this series about this book nook and next time I'll be making something totally different so please do keep watching, please subscribe if you haven't already. Now I've put everything back in, please do stick around and watch the grand reveal and I hope you really do enjoy it and I will see you very very soon. Don't leave me here